Okay, differences between an LLC and a corporation and the cost to get each one and maintenance. So the benefits of an LLC are that they're very flexible, so it's easy to customize them to meet your needs. They also have very simple overhead. The benefits of the trust of the uh, corporation is the is that they're exactly the opposite. So uh, corporations are rigid in their structure and they are inflexible in um, dealing with the requirements and they do have strict requirements. And you might say, Matt, those are two opposite things. How can they both be benefits? And that is the target audience in each case is different. So if you are a business owner, you're managing a business, you're probably gonna want less complexity so that you can focus on running your business and you're gonna want the flexibility that LLC can give you. They, both business structures provide limited liability. Partnerships, sole proprietors do not provide limited liability. LLCs and corporations do, if you do run them right. But um, if you're running your business, you want flexibility and simplicity. However, if you are getting investors, if you have outside investors who are putting money into your business, they actually probably don't want simplicity. They want to make sure that you're following the rules. They want to make sure that you're going through the checks of having owner meetings where um, all of the owners get together and meet to make important decisions, that you're doing annual reports um, or maybe you know quarterly reports depending on, on the business. And so these outside investors or silent partners, they probably want to make sure that you're legally required to do all of these things. And if that's the case, then they're, um, they're going to want you to have a corporation so that you are uh, required to jump through those hoops. So if you are a startup looking for outside investors, then you are probably going to want to have a corporation. And uh, oftentimes I see people say to me, Matt, I need a corporation. It needs to be in Delaware. I need to have 10 million shares. Um, I usually say, oh, you've been reading uh, articles by Y Combinator, haven't you? And uh, the answer is that if you are in that situation, um, I, I'm going to give you alternative suggestions that meet the goals of outside investors and venture capitalists or angel investors. Um, that are cheaper and simpler. So we might do Delaware, we might do Iowa, but we're probably not going to do 10 million shares because that's going to be very, very expensive to do your compliance reports on. So if you are getting outside investors, we're probably going to set you up with a corporation. And sometimes the investors don't care and LLC is fine. That's typically if you're getting hard money investors and a hard money investors is usually a short-term loan or something like that. That is, um, they're not going to care if it's a corporation or LLC. But otherwise, if they're equity partners or something like that, they're probably going to want you to be a corporation. Almost everyone else is going to want an LLC because they're going to benefit from the simplicity and the flexibility.